Hello everyone, John Moffle H2P here. Um, guys, did you know when these West Virginia fans all brag about how great their state song is, how I take me home, country road, don't please don't take me down YouTube. I didn't sing the whole song or whatever, but I mean, um, moving on. Um, did you know this famous song that everyone loves is not actually about West Virginia? It's about da 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 the state of Maryland. Their rival that kept them out of the ACC. Man, what a bust. And this is factual information, guys. You can see it right here on the official music's license website or whatever. John Denver's Country Road is inspired by the state of Maryland. And they go and troll WVU in this or the people of West Virginia in this. I'll link this, guys. Don't worry. So Bill Danoff and Taffy Nybert. I think that's her name. Uh, I, I don't know. <laughs> uh, correct me in the comment uh, uh, in the comment section. But um, so these two are actually Maryland grads and Georgetown grads, guys. And by the way, uh, John Denver himself hated West Virginia and the Mountaineers. He was a Red Raider of love. Pew, pew. But um, besides the point, these people never really put West Virginia in their mind. It's about a country road in Appalachia, Maryland. Um, I don't know where it is. Um, you can tell me if any of you guys really know where it is. But, I mean, the origin right here, uh, all these West Virginia fans who are saying that it's about West Virginia, oh, everyone's lying, jealous of the state and all that crap. Here's your answer, guys. Here's your answer. It's about the state of Maryland. And if you guys are going to cry to me in the chat, I'll, I'll, again, I'll leave this in the description. But the reality is, guys, are we all, uh, are we all su surprised about it? Because no one, wanted to, no one wanted to sing about West Virginia. The real reason they put West Virginia into the whole conversation is because Maryland didn't fit. Maryland didn't fit. It's about the state of Maryland and the beautiful uh, app Blue Ridge Mountains that that West Virginia only dreamed they could have. Um, all West Virginia has is garbage chutes and dried up coal mines. Respect to the miners, though. But again, guys, I mean, like people are going to be betrayed by this. But but but. But, but John Denver came and sang it at the inaugural game. Well, John Denver was paid by uh, the governor who was a corrupt Democrat and warmonger, um, Nelson Rockefeller. What a scumbag that whole family was. So, I mean, of course he came. They were getting that Rockefeller money back then. So that's, that's the origin here. No one cares. It, it's, it's, and, 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 and these artists have been trying to tell West Virginia fans for years, it's not about you. It's not about you. It's not about you. But they didn't listen. They are in denial. So I think these artists should go sue WBU and get that song revoked and let Marilyn sing it because that's the rightful owner of this song. So really, that's all I, I that's all I have to say about this video, guys. Um, there's a lot of controversy, fights on Twitter, and it looks like Johnny Waffle and the pit crew have won. Oh, by the way, um, we didn't uh, – at least uh, Pittsburgh – I mean, we don't have our own stadium, but at least we have national championships in tradition, guys. Uh, West Virginia has uh, 0.56 uh, GPAs in there. And college drop, dropouts and zero national championships. Okay? So that being said, guys, I hope you learned the truth here today. And I will see you guys later. And as always, hail to pit.